Hello and welcome to the video. This is a very quick video to answer a question that I've had on a recent video. Now that video was talking about how to copy model memories between radios and you can do that without too much problem if you use OpenTX Companion. But a couple of people have asked, well hang on a minute, what about rebinding and things like that? Do you have to rebind or can you have multiple uh, radios all that can control the model at the same time so you don't have to have different models for different radios and vice versa. So I've just been testing it here and let me show you what I've found. So first of all let me show you how it works before we get into too much detail. So this is the radio that I'm actually using with this model. Uh, so this is a Sonic model AR wing. I've just installed a new stabilizer in it. So that's a video that you'll be able to find on the channel. Um, so now let me just plug this in. RSSI There's the stabilizer initializing. There we go, receiver's connected. So we're, we're all working. Now if I go into the menu on this, you'll see that on this radio, the receiver number is 05. And I've actually done a video already talking about receiver numbers, and you can go and have a look at it here. And by having the same receiver number on a particular radio, you can change the behaviors of how things work. So the question for me here, I guess, is, well, hang on a minute, I've copied the model memory from the x light onto the other radio. Gosh, they are gobby when you put the amber pack on, aren't they? And the model is now on here, so is it just a case of turning it on and is it all going to work? So let me just fire up this radio. We're on mini AR wing as well. Let me just go and show you that the RX number is 05 as well. So if it's all going to work, as I plug this in, we should be able to take control. So hopefully you can see that's red light is the receiver. That's the initialization of the gyro. Uh, you can see that the gyro is flashing red because it hasn't got any link. The X4R is flashing red. There isn't any link. And that's because this radio is not bound to the receiver. So what seems to be happening here is that the bind is not only related to the RX number that I've already talked about in another video, but also to the radio itself. And I think that's actually a really decent safety feature because what it means is that you can't accidentally have two models on two different radios with the same RX number and have confusion. So it looks like the the setup in the radio and the, the link between the receiver and the radio is not only subject to the RX number, but also the radio itself as well. So that's the answer. If you want, let me turn off that x7 there we go if you want to copy models across then you are going to have to rebind on the new radio there we are we're connected and it also means that if you try and use multiple radios with the same model then that won't work either it'll only bind to one at once which actually i think is the safest way to do it and this is something that I've actually learned because I've never tried this before until I had those questions. So thanks to everyone that asked. Thanks for watching the video and watching right to the very end. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you like the video and like what I'm doing here, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon too. If you really like what I'm doing, you can go the extra mile and become one of my Patreons for access to me directly for support and also giveaways and regular updates too. If you're looking for particular content, then check out the playlist. I organize all of my videos into playlists. So if you're looking for a particular topic, you can find everything here. If it's called Introduction To, it's designed to start very simply and build on that simple introduction to teach you all about it. If it's called For Beginners, then that is really aimed at people who are brand new to that part of the hobby. You can also search on YouTube for anything that you're interested in using the search function at the top. So iNav Painless 360 will find all of my videos and even the playlists around iNav. So thanks again for watching and happy flying.